Hello. There. Hey ho. Sorry, mm. I was busy making crepes that would deeply offend the French. Because I just woke up. Hello. Hello. Why are they offensive to the French? Well, the crepes themselves are these instant store-bought crepes. So, like, they're already pre-made. Oh, no. Oh, dear. And then I was <laughs> like, you know what? Nutella sounds really good on these. And then we're out of Nutella. So I was like, what is something similar I could put on them? And we only had a jar of peanut butter. So they're peanut butter crepes. Wow. I'm sorry, <laughs> any French people. Peanut butter crepes from bought from the uh, from from the market. That that sounds great. That sounds American. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a market. I would more call it like a superstore. Do you guys have Walmart yeah, over there? Yeah, no, not Walmart. I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, it's just translation from for me from my English. Well. Hello. Hello. Welcome. All right, so let's go ahead and load into Wing Two. The hell? Who loaded into uh, Kia Bada Shim? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not oh, a Largo's training. Season. I did that on huh. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. According to the intelligence, this cave system leads deeper into the complex. The missing squad leader is somewhere inside, along with whatever else the bandits are guarding. Keep your eyes open for anything that might lead us in the right direction. Or tell us more about our enemy. Alright. So let's just go ahead and run forward and kill these ads. How's everyone's day been? I know you guys probably just got home from work. Yeah, been, been alright. My birthday was this week, I'm 20 now. Hey, congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Happy okay. birthday. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm horrified <laughs> because mine's next month. Oh. And I turn 29, which means I lose my insurance. Oh, or 26. What? Not 29, thankfully. Wait, why would you lose your insurance? Um, because you can be on your parents' insurance till you're 26. This is my oh. uh, like healthcare insurance or something else? Uh, healthcare insurance, um, oh eye God. insurance, all that fun stuff. Is that supposed to happen? Sounds, uh, not good. <laughs> It's fine. Sense. I just need to not get hurt. Just walk around in a suit of armor. It's easy. <laughs> you can get hurt everywhere. That would require me to problem. leave. Oh. <laughs> I'm currently like in university. So, and all my classes except one are online. Oh. You could fall down your stairs. <laughs> Yeah, but at that point, that's on me. And that's just weed yeah. or weeding out weak blood, so... Okay. Alright. Anyway. Um, welcome to Slothosaur. Oh, thank you for food. Um, welcome to Slothosaur. Um, who here is new? It's gonna depend on how I teach this. I think we had a lot of new people. Type X in chat if you're yeah. new. I see one. I'm not sure. I did this years ago, so... I'm... Yes, we'll count you as new. Alright. We'll not do the way most of you guys will do it. I knew. I only did it once with you the last time we did this on you. Okay, so we'll and... do it the exact same way. Um, this is Slothosaur. It is a really fun fight. Um, before I forget, can I have both my Reapers take Spectral Grasp? 
Before I forget, let me um, do the subgroups. That's a heal mech. You get that. Um, is that a quickness harbinger? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I think you want spotters more than the other one. Um, my soul beast, are you power or condi? Both are fine. Power? Perfect. And I don't need to worry about spotter. You go there, and we'll just split up the reapers. Uh, my Tempest, are you Power or Condi Tempest? Condi? Okay, we should be fine. I hate that Druid no longer gives 10-man might. It means I have to think more about my comps. But anyway. Should, you, should, should you and me be really be in the same squad? Should what? Uh, are the... I'm the other healer, and I'm in your squad. Should I not be in the other one to prioritize that? My apologies. I thought you. I thought the mechanist was the healer. No, no. I'm Alexi. It's a rare day when you see a heal run. It's a perfectly fine healer. It's just people don't take it as often. All right. Now that subgroups have been sorted out, welcome to Slothosaur. Um. This boss is fairly difficult, so if it takes us our full two hours, then no worries. Um, the reason it's kind of difficult is these mushroom mechanics here, along with some other things. Um, I need all my DPS to type X in chat. All right. So... The reason I had you type X in chat um, is outside of Allah who wanted to be first, that's going to be the order of mushroom you eat. So Allah's going to be first, Bradir, you are going to be second, Dominar, you are my third mushroom, Gilson, you are my fourth mushroom. What this means is you see this pretty little mushroom in front of it? If you walk up and press F, you're going to become an enemy of the whole team. It means that we can kill you. However, what does happen is you magically turn into a... Uh, little slubbling, and you see these poisonous mushrooms in front of us, we can go ahead and eat those to remove the poison on the floor. What we are going to want to do is eat a path um, to just before the marker. Um, the reason for that is that's where the mushrooms spawn, and we don't want to eat where the mushroom, or the, we want that mushroom to be in poison, so that way we're not tempted to keep the boss directly on top of where that mushroom is. And then our whoever eats it becomes an enemy and immediately gets cleaved down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so how you're going to eat is pretty much in a um, straight line, but uh, prioritize ones along the wall. The ex exception for this is my mushroom 2, you only ha have to eat two mushrooms, and it's just going to be um, in a straight line from circle to heart. You have the easiest mushroom job. Okay, so eating a mushroom does actually more than just remove poison from the ground. After you're done, um, it also spawns some adds, and these adds are a little nasty. Um, they fire a projectile, which uh, will... Um, corrupt our boons, which is why our Revenant is bringing this lovely bubble. If you can, try and be in this bubble at any given point, unless the bubble's in a bad place. Use your personal Use judgment, your personal on, that. judgment on that. Question. Yeah. Yeah. Do I prioritize bubble over boons as last No, time? no, 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 no. Bubble is kind of just... If you see things are getting really bad, which is usually going to be in the stretch from heart to square, then I might prioritize it, but boons are more important. Okay. I may change that in the future, but for now, boons are more important. Okay, okay. All right. Now, the other way we can deal with these slubs um, is for m anybody to bring a pole that they might have. So both my reapers, if you could bring spec or spectral grasp, is I think what it's called. 
It's yeah. the pull skill. Mm -hmm. This pull skill is useful in two ways. Um, one, you can pull all the slublings that spawn in the center right to us, and then we just cleave them down. Um, two, I will get back to that later. Any questions on um, just the arena mechanics that I talked about? Uh, a small question. So basically, mushrooms eat up to the marker, but not the marker mushroom. Correct. Just before the marker mushroom. It's so... better to eat less than to eat more, if that makes sense. Okay. Do the um, when you when you've eaten the mushroom, you do you go to the edge of where the poison currently is, or do you actually go into the current poison? Um. So, as a slubling, you won't get hurt by the poison when you're a member of the enemy team. Okay. Um, so, so, you'll walk, more, up, you'll walk up to a mushroom, to to... press one channel a bite. It takes a few seconds, so don't just interrupt it and walk away. And then, once you're done, you press either five or six, I think it's five, to just uh, revert forms. Oh, so it's the it's eat the it's the, eat the mushroom and it reverts the ground around the mushroom. Yeah. So, like for example, okay. you see this mushroom. Uh, I can actually do this for a second. Uh, this is gonna pull the boss, by the way. This isn't normal. So, Thank you, angered me. you see that now that circle AOE has gone away. So let's go ahead and okay. GG. And it's five to revert. I only ever do support, so I never mushroom. <laughs> All right. Does anyone else have any questions on mushrooms? All right, then. So now for the uh, boss itself. One, oh, okay. Yep. Uh, one small question. Uh, so, be, uh, and we eat the mushroom basically right as it spawns, right? You yes. will call it, out, call it out, but right as it spawns. Unless you have a mechanic, which I will get to. So, um, for Slothosaur himself, uh, the fight starts when we eat this mushroom, um, at which point he is going to fixate a random person, and this fixate is going to change throughout the fight, so we're not designating a tank or anything. All the fixate is, is you choose where he's pointed and where he's standing. What I want you to do with your fixate um, is follow the mushroom um, eater. The reason for this is every 20% that we deal with the boss, um, he is going to enter a CC phase. And if we are not moving um, to like the furthest point that we are, uh, then he's going to be in poison. It's going to be real difficult to CC him. And the whole fight is going to be a mess. So that's why... Um, after the tantrum, which I'll get to, I want my or my slubling or fixate to follow the slubling, and then you're pretty much gonna just be stopping uh, right before the uh, next marker. Now for tantrum, which is what I get to, um, the first mechanic he is going to do is he's gonna walk at us, and then he is going to do a temper tantrum where he's gonna start banging his fists on the ground. Um, while he's doing this, you will drop three AOE stuns. What I recommend people do is you count to two and then dodge into these poison fields. The reason I recommend dodging into poison is so that way you don't dodge into one of your friend's um, AOE fields. If you get hit by this, um, it's going to at m worst stun you for like 10 seconds. Uh, or at best, it's going to stun you for 10 seconds. At worst... A bunch of these will be all stacked up together, and it'll just instantly down you. Um, and it could kill you, depending on where you stand. So be very mindful of that. Uh, the last thing about this is, while he's doing tantrum, please don't just run around in circles and drop a bunch of AoEs around everywhere. Pay attention, uh, count to two, and then dodge into the poison. Any tantrum questions? So we got... Uh special skill that we have to drop is that right or it's just like that's a, a different mechanic um th that's just going to be 
AOE circles spawn under where you are. You don't actually drop them. The next mechanic is exactly that. Somebody is going to get poison. Now what this poison does um, is after a few seconds, you are just going to drop an expanding puddle of poison, which hurts a lot. Um, you'll also get a special action key, which drops it before that timer expires. What we can do with that is, um, let's say we're over, um, let's say the group is at this arrow. What I want you to do is I want you to run to the wall that's closest behind us, press your special action key, and come back to us, and that's it. Never drop it in the center, and don't drop it in front of us. Those two things are going to be a wipe. The reason we don't drop it in the center is it expands and then we uh, it will take up pretty much the entire ring or the entire area and then we're going to wipe all right any questions on poison uh, the last thing i'll add to that is don't run super far away from group you just run like a few feet behind us, drop it, and we'll continue. Uh, because we'll be moving a lot in this fight, so you don't need to drop it all the way by arrow if we're at circle. All right. So I said that Spectral Grasp has another use that I would get back to later. Um, every 20% is going to be a CC mechanic. What we can do for a quick CC, if my re Reapers feel inclined. Oh, also my Skirt, or not Scourge, Harbinger, if you also can bring Spectral. Sure. You don't need to bring Blood as Power, because I will be providing the Might. Um, if you just stand inside the hitbox and use it, it will instantly break the CC bar, because it's a projectile. Um, but everybody else should still CC. After his CC is broken, um, he is going to fear a bunch of people. Um, how do I want to deal with this? Um, for my guardian and sub one, if you could bring stand your ground, that would be really yeah. useful. Um... Uh, for my heal rev, what's the second stance you take? I know you take, um, centaur stance, but what's the next one? Renegade. Renegade? Uh, you need that for healing. Oh, it's kind of nice on this fight, too, because I do 50% uh, reduction to condition damage with my heal. True. Um... And I'm in sub 1 as well, so... Uh... So, the reason I, I'm at a loss of what to do is, after we break the CC, he is going to fear everyone. Um, the easiest way to deal with this um, is both subgroups would take Stand Your Ground and give everyone stability, or a Revenant would take Roads. However, that doesn't seem to be an option for us. So... <laughs> doesn't Mech have, like... It's yeah, uh, tied I, to their I alacrity, and it's not I, the I, I best. Can... So, actually, what I, I'm going to do is post, this. I won't post it. Uh, for my Tempest, if you could take Air Shout, um, that's a five man stun break. Um, and I'm. Yeah, I have a storm. And I am also going to take a five man stun break. Um, where is it? Where's Protect Me? All right. And I will be taking Protect Me. Uh, everyone stack up pretty tightly during the CC phase. We should be fine. Alright. Um, your subgroup is completely covered. And I would rather you go full damage, because spirits aren't the best in this fight anyway. So I have utility that I swap out. All right, and so that is all of um, this. Does anyone have any questions on the fight? It'll make more sense as we do polls. 
Uh, there's one mechanic that I will get to, but it's later in the fight. Wasn't the fire breath from the beginning onwards? The what? Um, the fire breathing he does. Oh, yeah. Uh, my apologies. So, uh, the next job of Fixate is to make sure that uh, Slothosaur is never pointed at the group. The reason for that is steam will blow off of him occasionally, and then he will breathe fire um, at whoever the Fixate was. Um, if you're in the group, uh, often people won't be paying attention, and you'll, he'll just breathe fire on top of the group and kill a lot of people. Uh, so you'll face him away. When you see the steam, just sidestep the, uh, the fire breath and you'll be completely fine. Any other questions? Um, is your stream supposed to still be a spinning noose? Oh, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if that's a question. There we go. No. Oops. All right, ready to check. Displeased. All right, here we go. Okay, here comes Tantrum. Get ready. And dodge. Oh, our... Uh, so if, died. Oh, let's go ahead and GG. So, be very mindful not to kill your slubbling friend. I usually wait to DPS. Um, till... Uh, Sloth arrives at us. Servant of mine. Excuse me. All right. We'll do another ready check. Uh, word of advice for my Tempest. If you see a bunch of people get hit by this, uh, you can stun break them out of it. Here's flame breath. Okay, fixate needs to move. Fixate, come over here. Oh, I'm fixate now. So the reason we move as quickly as we can is because he often uh, chain locks himself in. All right. Go ahead and use any poles. Poison, go ahead and take that to an edge. CC. Okay, we need to be moving after this. Good job. Dodge. We cannot save them, which is unfortunate. Slub 2, I need you to eat. Awesome. Oops. I oh, thought I had that to is go flame back breath. To eat. Let's go ahead and eat GG. <laughs> oh no, sorry, they spawn at the markers. Gotcha. Decent first pull. Um, a Just word of advice for my hole. eaters. Um, if you ever have poison, please drop it before you eat. Even if I'm yelling at you to eat, sometimes I don't see it. 
For the reason we do that is if you eat your mushroom, you're going to drop poison, which is going to be in front of us, and that's going to be real bad. Uh, what were you saying? Yeah, I was just going to check. It. Well, wasn't 100% sure whether I was the one that was meant to be eat uh, was meant to be slobblinging at that point. I was uh, the third. Uh, I think I was the third one. Uh, nope. Just your third one is heart. So we go okay, around so counterclockwise. So is it always the same? Is it all the same person uh, doing bit uh, going between each? Uh, like so, between arrow and circle, it'll be just be one person doing that. Yes. Okay, I, I misunderstood earlier. Okay. No worries. And the second person, so I'm doing circle to heart, but yep, I just and do it straight away, or whenever. As so soon as that, that mushroom spawns, mushroom. and you don't have poison. Gotcha. Um, I'll give you a better call out for when it spawns. There might be times where I tell you to wait, like for example, if break bar is almost broken, then I don't want you um, taking it because on your way you might get feared to your death. But yep, we're looking fine. Wait for them to get here. All right. All right, we have Tantrum coming up here. Dodge. Word of advice for my fix it, I don't want you back pedaling. I want you literally turning tail and running because he will animation lock himself pretty frequently. There's flying breath. We have a new fixate. Fixate, I want you like standing right here. Nice. Okay, we have a CC phase. Get ready for it. CC. Okay, it's room two, go ahead and eat. Dodge this. Make sure we're picking friends up. And we need to be moving, moving, moving. Nope, so next one you're gonna wanna eat is here, and then you're done. Oh, you got pulled into us, but you finished eating. Be mindful of poles while our friend is up. Pick our friend up. We are looking really good right now. Use any poles you have. That way we can get some of these guys down. Alright. Now as for the next mechanic that I didn't explain. Because I didn't think we'd get this far this fast. We're looking really good. At some point I'll ask you to double dodge. And on your last dodge, try and end up into the boss's hitbox. Uh, shroom 3, go ahead and eat. And we'll need to follow them very quickly because this poison's about to expire. So you'll eat this one. Shroom down. Alright. Let's go ahead and GG. Uh, really good job, everyone. So remember, you'll want to eat um, the poison field that your mushroom spawns in as your first one, and then it's going to be in a line towards the next uh, uh, marker. So if you guys noticed, um, towards the end, he started shaking, um, and then like a tidal wave crash happened, and we all just died. That's the next mechanic. The next mechanic is called shakes or coconuts, depending on who you ask. Um, the reason it's called that is he's going to start shaking like a dog, and he's going to fire a bunch of spores in the air that look like coconuts. 
Now, what these spores do is they're not projectiles, so you can't delete them. Um, but if you get hit by them, you'll easily get hit with 30 to 40 plus conditions, um, which will cause you to pretty much instantly go down. Um, how you avoid this is you're going to dodge, wait a half second, and then dodge into his hitbox. The reason we want to try to end in his hitbox is they fire outward. Um, so if you land in the hitbox, the known lingering ones will hit you. Um, you have to dodge out and then in or... Um, uh, it doesn't matter where the second dodge is. You want to try and end in his hitbox, has but... To go in. No, the last one has to end in. Oh, okay. It doesn't has to, but that's going to give you the biggest window of air. All right. My advice for that is occasionally you'll see Slothosaur just standing still and doing nothing. And that means he's going to be channeling a mechanic, uh, which is either going to be Flame Breath, which you'll see the steam coming off of him. We're at Tantrum, which is easy to recognize because he does this. Uh, does this. All right, let's go ahead and GG. Uh, so you don't actually need to use your pulls at the start of the fight. It's only when uh, Slublings spawn. And I'll let you know when it's safe to pull. I don't know who pulled, but uh, no worries. If it's our other repair, uh, I uh, I personally just step to the right. And it was like either one of the, the Reapers, the Please. Harbinger, or um, it could have been the Firebrand uh, using Axe 3 in their rotation. I usually just look at the wall and 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 use the 5 if you want to use the 5 on the Greatsword. Oh yeah, and Greatsword 5 also was a pull. Yeah, yeah. that That's the big issue one. Because it's easy to use in the rotation before Shroud. And so see how I am like literally following? Make sure we pick them up. So that's what you'll want to do if you're first fixate. Is see how he's already in the spot where we want him to be. Next fixate, go ahead and use any pulls you might have. Watch Flame Breath. Make sure we're cleaving these guys down. Nice. Make sure you're also not standing in poison. We're going to have a CC phase here. Go ahead and wait on eating. Good stun break. Go ahead and eat when you can. Perfect. Make sure we're not hitting them. And dodge. Damn, I didn't dodge. I'll remember this. Anyone? Help? Oh, that's one too many, but that's fine. Uh, the next... Yep, next time just don't eat that mushroom. Because that's where that spawns, and so... This is where we want to keep him. Try to get that res. We're gonna have fixate here soon. Nice, we already got the swap. Use any pulls. Dodge. Next person if you can eat, no more pulls. CC Shrine, not CC our friendly slow. Perfect. Oh, that's enough. Don't eat that. Use any pulls. Now remember, coconuts can happen at any moment. This is not coconuts, but it can happen soon. Go ahead and eat, and you'll want to dodge as soon as you eat. And dodge. 
pick our friends up. Fixate should be following as close to them as we can. Tokens, dodge and dodge. All right, let's go ahead and GG because we have a bunch of people down. For the second one, mm -hmm. the second slab, you said there's two mushrooms to eat. So should I eat the one nearer to the center? Um, give me a second and I'll, uh, I'll run out there and show I you. Just count it. <laughs> you you did fine, you just ate one too many. You ate three. Okay. Okay, so you'll want to eat... Just there and there, and then you're done. Oh, somebody's in combat right now. If you're in combat, you just type GG, that way I can respawn. There we go. Oh, somebody else got or entered in combat. Uh, welcome, McCarrot. I'm sorry that Sloth was your first boss. <laughs> Where Boone's looking? Boons look all right. Quickness was down in two, but they died early, so. I died to, due to poison field, I dropped it too far out. Oh yeah, you just, so like for example, if the group's here, all you're gonna wanna do is just drop it right here. Don't leave the group too far. Mm -hmm. I think I was at um, star and then went too far. No worries. Right, so go ahead and mushroom one, eat when you're ready. Oh. Alright, I don't want anyone to get hit by this. Because we know it's coming. And dodge. Good job. So fixate, turn and run. I, I want you running. I don't want you backpedaling. Nice. Um, I don't know how I got poisoned. Uh, you weren't poisoned, you were hit by flame breath as you were running. Yeah, but I have poison stacked on me, so... Uh, you may have accidentally ran into poison. Uh, let's go ahead and CC, wait on eating. Alright, go ahead and eat. And dodge. Pick our friends up quickly. Make sure we're picking them up, and good job eating. Uh, if they're in that poison, you're not going to be able to rest them. Alright, 
right, we're gonna have a CC phase here soon. Uh, Shroom, go ahead and eat. Make sure we don't CC our friend. I need somebody to eat. At this point, anybody except a healer needs to eat. Or a slubling. Dodge. Protect me. And eat it for right, some let's reason. Let's go ahead and GG. Oh, I can't do it twice. <laughs> for future reference, I was mushroom four, so I shouldn't eat, right? Or should I? Correct. The reason is going into a shroom has a cooldown. Okay. Your duty oh, one of our. Um... Um, Slaplings was gone, right? Um, I think that was the case. Um, so as a, uh, alacrity DPS, should I eat, uh, Yep. Then, the only two oh, people that can't like afford to eat, um, is me the and healer. the other healer. Okay. Alright. Protected. All right, get ready. We have tantrum and dodge. Also, be mindful not to run back in there too early, or you'll get hit by the leftover ones. I want you turning and running, so you need to be right here. Because the longer we keep him still, the better our DPS is going to be. Go ahead and use any pulls you might have. Alright, CC. Shroom, go ahead and eat. I'm fixate at the moment. You can go ahead and eat, it'll just change fixate. Make sure we don't cleave our friend down. Dodge. Need everyone resin. Alright, watch that flame breath, it's through group. Fix it, you're standing in poison. CC. We're gonna wait on eating. Nice, go ahead and eat. No more pulls. You're gonna go ahead and eat that one, then that one, that one, and then you're done. It's right there. Sorry, I didn't call that. Let's go ahead and GG. I would mark out which mushrooms everyone eats, but I don't have enough markers for it. Isn't there a picture on the wiki or something? Um, no, because there's multiple different ways to do this fight. Oh. Okay. Uh, the most common is that we keep him in the center the whole time, um, and each mushroom only eats two. Basically, you eat away and then right to the next one, or eat the next center one. But, however, I don't like doing that for training runs, because if a poison ever gets dropped in a bad location, it's a GG for the whole raid. Whereas on the side method, um, you can kind of deal with a bad poison. There is a map made on Hearthstack, but it uses the center method. Mm -hmm. Again, the center method is definitely... 
I would say outside of pugging, it's what you'll use. I don't know about the E meta, but on NA, uh, our pugs pretty much only eat dodge, only eat outer. But if you go to any like Discord raid area, uh, like Crossroads or our equivalent, uh, then you will be eating center. Good job on that poison while I was talking. Also, good job moving. Watch Flame Breath. Alright, you ready? CC? Shroom, go ahead and eat. Dodge. Really gotta watch that second dodge. Fixate, come where I am. Use any pulls that you might have. Shroom, go ahead and eat. Make sure we're not CCing our friend. So eat the one that you start at. Stand your ground. Dodge. Set Make sure we're picking people up. Take that poison to an edge. So do it. Do eat the one at square as well. No, you don't. You're done. Because we don't want to be standing on square. Dodge this flame breath, it's through group. We have... Alright, here's coconuts. Dodge. I already used one of my dodges, so I'm down. Alright, let's go ahead and GG. All right, we're getting to about 50%. Let me look at my... Um, for my Tempest friend, do you mind linking your build? Yep. Also, what gear are you running? Are you in Vipers? Celestial? Trailblazers? Soldiers? And are you Dagger Warhorn? Yep. Okay. I promise I'm not trying to like rip you apart. How new to this build are you? Barely. I usually do just PvE stuff, so oh, okay. probably not very good at the um, rotation. Um. What gear are you in? Gotcha. Well, that might be your first issue. Is you're in power gear and you're running a condi build. 
because uh, the hand armor doesn't have stats selected. What is the link? Which one? The gloves. Oh, it does. Uh, your armor ass of madness. Yeah, it's got. I don't know why I'm using those ones. What? Nor does your warhorn. They do, it just hasn't come up on the chat for some reason. Yeah, I think sometimes doesn't show the right things like confusions or even stats sometimes. Gotcha. So, the, yeah. Do you have the same Condi stats. gear? I have Celestial. <laughs> um, why don't you go ahead and run that? Okay. Also, if you have a scepter, um, that's actually really good on this fight instead of dagger, because dagger is gonna make you dash into a bunch of poison in a bunch. Got it. Um, let me go ahead. Yeah, that should be fine. And then pretty much your rotation on that is you're just going to go into fire, overload fire, go into earth, overload earth, and that's pretty much your rotation. Do you have any questions on that? Oh, one second. I hear screaming upstairs. Uh, I will be right back. All right. All right, sorry about that. All right, we'll go ahead and do another poll. Dodge. Good job moving. Watch the plane breath. Wow, 
watch the fun breath. Good job. We have no slublings left up. We'll wait on eating. Go ahead and eat. Good job. Dodge. No more pulls. Alright, you're safe to pull now. Perfect. Watch flying breath. Uh, don't eat yet. We're gonna wait on eating. So you see. All right, go ahead and eat. Or you'll eat the mushroom next to you. Just dodge this. Shroom, go ahead and eat. Here's coconuts. Dodge and dodge. Flame breath. Next room, go ahead and eat. No more poles. Watch where you're standing. Poison got dropped in group. Alright, fix it. I need you come come to tag. Dodge these. Fury rising. That's one too many, I think. Good move. Dodge this. Try and pick them up. I don't want fixate resing. Go ahead and use any pulls you might have. Pick our friend up. Room one, go ahead and eat if you're still here. I suppose I can make, make sure we do not CC him. Here's shakes, dodge and dodge. CC. Don't stand in that poison. CC. Protected. And dodge. Still standing. Try to pick them up quickly. Shroom 2, if you're still here, you need to eat. Coconuts, dodge, and dodge. I'm down. Eat as soon as you get up. Okay, we have one more CC at this 10%. CC. Use any poles you might have. No. Flame breath, watch it, it's their group. Don't eat, just go ahead and kill the boss. 1%, good job. <laughs> also, for my Tempest, good job, you doubled your DPS. 
which is a huge improvement. Good job, everyone. We. All right, let's Got go on us. here. How was that? A lot of people consider that to be the hardest heart of Thorn boss. Well, it was faster than the last one. But it was, you guys are improving. So take this yeah. lay rift to the cave stash and you'll get a another chest, which hopefully contains ectoplasmic residue. Mine unfortunately did not. Oh it did. Nice. Let me go to the oh, exit. Uh, you need the ectoplasmic residue for um, Envoy 1. You'll need 10 pieces. Cave stash, was it? Yep. Uh, what, yeah, uh, um, where do we need to go? Um... Um, it's just for an extra treasure chest. You take the lay rift to the cave stash. Which is on arrow. Um, and then the chest is on circle. And then you take it back to the cave exit. Alright, then go ahead and follow me. You can look at that vista, just try to see if it's your daily. And we're just gonna kill these bandits. All right. So, my next one, I would like to apolog apologize because it's gonna be mildly scuffed because I don't have the mastery to do a call out for something. Um, if you want me to, I can call out the go for it. The sabotage. So All right. Just anyone, if anyone sees it, just call it out. If yeah, I'll explain what those are in a second. Uh, I'll kill these raptors over here. Nice. Okay. And so you just take a bomb, which gives you a special action key, and you throw it at the jump pad to launch yourself. And please don't walk forward. We're getting you out of here. All right. So this is pretty much an open world event. It's super easy. Um, that being said, but. If we're not paying attention to things, we can still die. What I'm going to have is sub 2 is going to drop down. Uh, you can take your normal skills, by the way, everyone. Although Spectral Grasp is still pretty decent here. Because uh, there's a bunch of adds to cleave. Um, that's more of a judgment. Sub two, 1 is going to drop down, cleave a bunch of adds. Um, and then we'll go about our business. Um, sub 2, however, is going to follow me. We're going to head along this... Uh, Platform, kill some ads, come up there, uh, grab some barrels, drop down, come over here, kill some more ads, and then we're going to go over to where Heart is down, or not Heart, Arrow is down below us. Uh, we're basically doing a bunch of setup work for the first boss. There's three bosses. The first boss is allergic to bees. Um, so you'll notice that there are beehives around here. Uh, what my sub 1 is going to do is you're going to clean up some ads and then you're going to move some beehives just to around arrow. It doesn't need to be on exactly arrow, but just around that area. And then you are going to mush your face into where arrow is, right up against that wall where the gate is about to come down. Reason for that is there's some uh, snipers over on circle that we are going to be line of sighting. Because they won't have line of sight and then they'll run down the staircase and go beat us in the face. But that's way easier than us spreading up and killing them. Alright, after that we're going to kill some ants. At some point I will tell you guys to head over to Circle. Uh, for my warrior, are you new to Trio? Uh, yes. Alright, so I'm going to give you a fun job called Mortars. Around the time I tell people to head to Circle, um, a new thing is going to spawn called Mortars. What I want you to do is zoom out on your map, and anytime you see um, like a target arrow come from across the river, so like they'll be coming from like over there, uh, you'll hop on one of those platforms, take the bombs, run out, and there will be a bunch of guys running along. Some dude is going to set up in the river, 
Uh, actually, I think it's like around there, actually. It's either there or the river. Um, and he is going to get a CC bar. All you'll do is you'll CC them and then run him back in. If you're late on this and he's already set up his mortar, you will have to full kill him. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you take the jump pad back to um, us and continue about your day. That's really all you have to do. I'll call out when you have to do it, but it's a super easy job. Um, <clears throat> there's where Circle's supposed to be. Was I supposed to take a jump pad out? Which of the jump pads point out to that place? Uh, they'll bo they both go to the same place. They both go up to here, and you can g just glide midair over to them. Okay. Um... And yeah, that's it for that. Uh, for the second boss, uh, he tortures puppies. Um, so I will be letting these uh, wargs out of their cage, and they're going to help us deal with the boss. Um, after then, we go ahead and clear out um, some more ads, and then I'll tell us to meet up over at Heart. Uh, one ranged person, it, doesn't, it can be anybody, is going to meet over at Square. And you'll be throwing oil on top of the next boss, um, which is Nutella, who has a leaky flamethrower. So if you just throw a bunch of oil on them, they'll burn to death. That's the boss. Um, our lose condition is if that cage in the center ever gets damaged um, or ever gets destroyed. Common ways that it gets destroyed is saboteurs will be pouring in um, and setting up bombs next to it. They just need to be CC'd when they have or when they're setting up their bomb and once they're cc'd people forget that they are even a or they forget that they're even a saboteur and they just become a normal ad you can also just full kill them before they get there <coughs> uh, excuse me other ways that um this cage dies is our second boss zane um, he has a bunch of expanding shotgun attacks um, that can reach the cage if we are not standing over by circle. And that's really it. Any questions? All right. Here we go. I'm fast as the wind. That's <sighs> no Protected. Kill the invaders, and then kill the prisoners. They know too much. No loose ends. Everyone dies. Cooling down. Refreshing. You I feel lose. energized. Once you guys kill down there, you just go mash your face in the arrow. Uh, make sure you're picking your friends up, though. Uh, somebody grab this oil keg with me. You'll use weapon swap to drop it. Don't press one. One uses it. Uh, for the people with the oil kegs, we are dropping them over on square, and we're using special or er, weapon swap to drop them. Uh, everybody else who doesn't have an oil keg, just go mash your face in it. Arrow. And then we come over to Arrow, and I literally want you running into this. Oh, you don't have to grab those yet, and that's why. I noticed afterwards that this was not a good idea. Yep. So you'll see that they're running down to us. Uh, without leaving the corner, you can just beat them up. Protected. All right. Well, you guys beat that up. Somebody follow me. Actually, all the oil kegs were grabbed. It looked like. No, we're good. Okay. So go ahead and grab beehives. All right, go beat up Berg. He's weak to bees. I'll throw a beehive on him. Is 
Is it possible to get an ecto chest even if you didn't kill him personally? Yep. Just full DPS because there's nowhere else to use your DPS. Right, Saboteur just spawned. Do you get a special action key? Just throw it at the boss. It's going by the square. Hard. Square and hard. Okay. If you just want to CC him as he's setting that up. Oh, you don't need to kill him. You just uh, CC him. Alright, and now Berg is dead. Make sure we're cleaving a bunch of dudes. We have a minute before the next dude spawns. There's a lot of downtime in this event. Mortar should be spawning soon. Don't head out there yet, but just be aware. He spawned, if you want to go ahead and take the jump pad out, um, and you'll meet him as he's setting up his cannon. So all you'll do is come to this jump pad, take this bomb, and launch yourself out. Everyone over by circle. I don't want you over at anywhere else. Alright, you've dealt with them. You don't even have to kill them. You just take the jump pad out. Okay, and we want to kill this guy as quickly as we can. Should we phase away from the cage? Um, you'll want to, but I, as long as we're over where I'm at, he can't actually hit the cage. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then go clear out around the cage. Make sure you don't use your special action key at the cage, because it will actually destroy it. Saboteurs are common. Hard now we have a bit of time. Oh, mortar is set up. My apologies, I'm not calling that. If you want to go ahead and jump out and just full kill it. Just dodge these mortars. Alright, now everyone meet up over at heart. And I need a ranged person up on circle. Uh, just stay out there and kill them all. All right, here she is. Now we still have to deal with saboteurs during this. Protect me. Oh, just flame. Uh, there's Watch out for the fire tornadoes. They hurt quite a bit. So they actually do follow people. So if you notice that you have a tornado following you. If you just want to take it off group, uh, make sure to throw the napalm. Oh, but we don't have it. Yeah, died up here. You disappoint me. Oof. Um, if somebody wants to run up top and throw napalm on the boss, this might be solved. No, okay, let's go ahead and GG. Uh, really close.
Uh, the napalm's enough to do like 90% of the boss, so um, it's really just kind of a survive game. Also DPS, because the more DPS we have, the easier it is for us to survive. Um, but just as a notice. Did anyone have any questions on the fight as a whole, though? You pretty much killed it. Here we go. No one Kill the invader and then kill the prisoners. They know too much. No use in. Everyone dies. <sighs> that feels better. Grab your oil keg. Weapon swap to drop it without using it. Uh, one second. I feel energized. Protected. Protected. On my mark. A saboteur. Nice job. Down for the count. You'll be doing that one for days. Enemies coming from the north. But uh, I'm uh. 
guys next to us. Huh? The dog guy is uh, next. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there? Uh, to I'll, be I'll be unleashing the dogs. Alright, my Sorry deepest apologies. Um, somebody yeah. barged into my room and I was suddenly a tech support. Uh, you guys are doing amazing for this, by the way. Uh, try and run over to circle. Uh, make sure you're not... Have your backs to the cage, like... Oh, we didn't hit it. Nice. Uh, mortars are here. Coming from you. Oh, I but, just smashed him. Uh, uh, oh, good save on him. I went to run out, but I mashed my face in there. Make sure we're killing this thing. Uh, CC the saboteur. Damn. Nice. And now Zane should be dead. Good job. Alright, make sure we're cleaning our cages. Our mortars are back again. I know you just left. Um, no, I was uh, just uh, resting him, and then I left. But I heard, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, somebody go out there with, um, and help kill some sa or some saboteurs, or not saboteurs, mortars. Protected. Protect me. Lord, All right. Oh, got messed I'll up. I'll run by... up on cage. By the platform. Uh, away from the cage. Well, our mortar person died. I didn't get there in time because the platform caught me. Uh, should I come back or? Uh, yeah, come back. I to clean up. I'm dead too. Bye. Uh, don't stand in the fire. It does hurt quite a bit. Okay, it's currently just a mission of survive, and you will have cleared this um, without my help. Make sure we CC them. Okay, she's at 14%. Seven. Let's just survive. Good job. Way to do that, honestly, without me. All right. Um, and then type slash GG so our friends can respawn. Um, I need to switch my light on. Really no, you're fine. We killed the boss. We're done. Um, we have like 30 minutes left uh, for. The next one. Will we also get the giant beehive? Uh, I'll do that at the end of the 30 minutes. Because it's pretty far away from here. Oh, okay. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Alright, follow me. I can show you where the next chest is. It's over there at Arrow. Oh wow, another ecto. Nice. And then make sure we kill all these guys. Protected. How many more ectos do I need? Oh, I hit my ten. <laughs> nice. I'm at twelve. It's funny. I'm doing the um achievement just for like free ascended armor. <laughs> what is that? All right, then follow me. Valid enough. Fatal mistake. Make sure we kill all these guys. This is my Oops. Is 
refreshing. I feel energized. All right, follow me. We kill some guys over at a bandit camp over here. Nice, and then we backtrack. This is just to open the doors to the next boss. Then you come over here. And then we're ready to meet Matthias, the scythe, the bringer of salvation. Is this the last or second to last one? This is the last boss of this wing. I don't think we're going to be able to get a kill. Because I would put him on par with Slothosaur. In fact, honestly, do any of my DPS have a heal scourge built? This is one of the bosses I feel no sadness bringing this. I know some people don't like bringing Heal Scourge into training raids. I think this is the one exception, is Matthias. If not, that's completely fine. <clears throat> Alright, give me a second while I pull something up. Okay, I think this is the worst way to tr uh, train a raid, but for Matthias, I'm handing you all some spreadsheets. Okay. The reason of that oh, is this, he has this must be This must be the overflow uh, raid boss, then. The reason I sent... Or I give everyone this is just it makes it easier to understand i'll go through it all but he has four phases and his mechanics change every phase all right um i posted it in the um discord so <clears throat> um he's an elementalist which means he's gonna go through three elements and then get sick of it and or sick of all that in the last uh, because Earth is a hard element, I guess. No pun intended. Uh, the first attunement he enters is uh, Ice Attunement. Um, in Ice Attunement, uh, all these phases will have an environmental effect. The first environmental effect is that there's ice patches around the room. They can only be cleaned up with fire damage. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Technically, we could clear them all out because you all will be doing fire damage with my Storm Spirit, but... Or not storm my sun spirit, but just don't step in them and you're fine. Uh, the passive mechanic is you'll periodically be getting chilled in this fight. This is why we want to do a bunch of Condi cleanses in this fight. Um, but my DPS and everyone don't need to worry about it. The less mechanic is um, the boss's unique attack that he has. Um, it's called Hadouken. Um, he's also kind of a staff mirage where, um, if you've ever seen where they spin their staff and then fire a bolt out of it, it's the exact same animation. Everyone just calls it Hadouken because of the last phase. Um, any questions on that? All right. And then, so we have three overall mechanics. Um, I know it says two, but there's three. Um. The first one is a sacrifice. Um, somebody is going to be sacrificed, um, and they will be in, sharded in bloodstone in the center of the room, and they will need to be CC'd to get out of it. Um, while they're encased in bloodstone, they have 100,000 health, um, and they are a member of the enemy team. So just be mindful about where you are attacking. It's very possible to just cleave them down and quickly kill them. Um, this is why I advise don't stand directly in the center, because that's uh, where the boss is. Or that's where the sacrifice is. It's exactly where that bloodstone shard is. The next two mechanics um, are corruption and um, poison. Poison is exactly what we saw in Slothosaur. 
you're going to get a special action key. Take it to any edge, but not on a fountain, and then drop it. This one doesn't expand, so it's not as bad. We don't want to drop it in the center of the group because it does a lot of damage. Um, corruption is similar, um, but a little different. Um, for this one, you will not have a special action key. Um, instead, you have a little AOE that follows you, and it does uh, damage to everyone around you, including yourself. How to get rid of it is you're going to take it to one of these wells around the room. Once you drop in, or once you go into the well, that well is going to become black and icky, and it can't be used for a period. So I would recommend everybody constantly be looking around the room and seeing which wells are free in case you get corruption. The short difference between the two, if you have special action key, take it to a wall. If you do not have special action key, take it to a well. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, due to the nature of this fight, it's extremely easy to get chain grieved by mechanics. An example of this is, let's say you get corruption and you run into a well. You weren't paying attention, so you can't find the well. So you take another like five seconds swapping to, or going to a well that's filled, and then you run to the correct well. And then you take a lot of damage. And then you come back, um, and you're already low health from having corruption. And then you immediately get corruption again, and you have to go to another well. And then while you're on that well, Hadouken hits you in the back, and you go downstate. It is very, very easy to get chain griefed in this fight. Don't get frustrated, just know that it is common. All right. So, at 80%, he is going to phase. Um, ignore all the environmental uh, slash weather effects because they change. Um, instead of icy patches, we now get fire tornadoes. That's the exact same thing that was... Um, in the last boss at Nutella, where she summoned the fire tornadoes, and if you stepped in them, they spun you around a bunch, and they were really annoying. Those happen constantly in here now. Uh, the passive mechanic is, unless you are moving, uh, you get stacks of burning. Uh, again, we will be condi cleansing, but don't just try and um, stay still. Spam your A and D to just side, or sidestep when you can, if you remember. Well, a profane, this is where he is going to jump up, do a flip, um, and strike his hammer on the ground. And it's going to shoot out a bunch of shards. Just don't get hit by this. The shards aren't that big of a deal. They give you a little bit of torment, but uh, your healers will be condi cleansing a bunch. So it's not the biggest deal. Just don't be in the center where you get bonked. Any question in phase two? All right. Phase three is his air phase. Uh, um, there's going to be storm clouds instead of fire tornadoes. These hurt far more than uh, fire tornadoes, and standing in them for about a second and a half will just immediately downstate you. Don't be in storm clouds. They hurt quite a bit. Uh, the passive mechanic um, is every time you move, you are going to get a stacking debuff. Um, or you get a debuff. At 10, you trip and fall. Um, we don't have any scourges, so we're not too... Um, subgroup 2 should be fine, because the mechanist just pulses out stability pretty frequently, so you should be fine. Uh, for my sub 1, if you could take stand your ground. You should. Um, and just use it off cooldown, except maybe when we're at, like, 50% of the boss's health, then hold on to it. Um, okay. Could I use my, my Tome as well? It also gives stability. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is only in rain phase, by the way. Yes. Uh, that we need stability. Um, the next is Time Bomb. Four people are going to get a bomb placed on them. All you have to do is spread out, just like Whisper of Jormag. Uh, this isn't that scary of a uh, mechanic. Phase four is where things go into... Um, or where things get hectic. Um, he's going to OD on some bloodstone, become a giant dude, and all of his tells for his attacks are going to be a little bit different. Hadouken is going to look exactly like a Hadouken. Well, of the profane, he's going to jump and spin around, and holy crap, I forgot a key mechanic that I will get back to later. Um, 
time bomb now will affect every single person. The reason I go through all of these moves is because he will be cycling through which uh, phase he is in, and he can use Hadouken, Wall the Profane, and Time Bomb at any given point. They're not tied to uh, attunements anymore. Lastly, there will be a ghost running through um, the group. I will call out, just don't stand in because it does a lot of damage. Any questions so far? Also, there's no more sacrifices. I know there's a lot for this boss. What was the Well of Profane again? Well of Profane is where he jumps, does a flip, and slams his staff on the ground. It looks like one of the Daredevil staff attacks. Um, you dodge that. Just dodging or... Uh, yeah, you just dodge it. Okay. Or you just don't be close to him for that. Alright, the last and most important mechanic that I can't believe I forgot. Uh, I changed my mind, Firebrand. You are not taking stand your ground, and your subgroup just will deal with the slip and falls. Um, instead, what you are going to take is Wall of Reflection. That's because uh, the first thing that's going to happen when we pull the boss is he's going to pull a little purple dome over him, and he's immune to all damage. He is then going to point his staff at the first person who entered the room, which is me, and machine gun them down. Um, you'll place well, or Wall of Reflection in his hitbox. There's also a Tome 3 skill that does the same thing. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you'll just place around him. The reason for that is we need to reflect all bullets right back into him to break his shield. Uh, for my Tempest, if you could take Aftershock. Um, that gives everyone magnetic aura. That's Oh, it's now only everyone in your sub. Anyway. Uh, how how long does it last? Like, Do I just cycle through... It lasts until his shield is broken. Um, right. He'll only use his machine gun for about seven-ish seconds. Um, and then he'll continue on with his day. And if uh, the bubble is still not broken, he'll rotate back into the machine gun attack. Right. And this is going to be a mechanic we deal with the entire fight. That being said, I've talked far too long. Well, let's go ahead and do can a poll. Can you uh, set markers for the rest so we can call out if we sure. get lost? Um, well, every time he gets the purple dome around him, I just uh, reflect. Yep, you'll place back. it in his hitbox, and I don't want anyone in that purple dome. Uh, sorry, one final thing. If you don't have the raid mastery Forsaken Thicket Waters, when you go and drop off your poison at a well, you will be stunned. Um, it's fine, it's just sad. Uh, let me just... Uh... I'll be sad. Alright, here we go. All right, get ready to reflect him. Elements, I reflect. Nice. Okay, and now the fight starts. Corruption, there's Hadouken. Okay, sacrifice is coming. CC, CC. CC them. Nice. Hadouken? Reflect? Out of this hitbox. Nice. Good job taking that to a well. There's Hadouken. There's that chain grief I was talking about. Also, we will want to stay stacked pretty tightly. Um, the reason for that is he aggroes to the furthest person away from him. There's Hadouken. CC our friend, CC our friend. Nice. Alright, we are about to phase out. Reflex. Good job. Alright, here comes fire phase. 
Okay, watch out, there's a tornado coming near the group. Uh, corruptions in group, take it to a well. Arrow is good, or so is circle. CC our friend. Reflect. Fire tornado near group, wash your feet. Oh, poison and grip, move, move, move. Try and pick them up if we can. Poison, take it to an edge. Reflect. All right, let's go ahead and GG. <clears throat> so, did anyone have any questions? Does the poison zones grow as in Slophosaur? No, they, they do not. So you don't have to be at the absolute edge then? Nope. Uh, I mean, we'll want to, because they take a very long time to disappear. Uh, but just take them to the closest edge. And make sure not to place them over a well. Yeah. All right, here we go. Reflect. <coughs> Good job. Why is my pet not on passive? Oh, make sure to pick people up. We're going to have a sacrifice here soon. CC. Good job. Reflect out of his hitbox. Nice. The reason we want out of the hitbox is just... Uh, right now it doesn't matter, but it's a good use if you ever have a chrono or mesmer reflecting with feedback. We have another sacrifice coming. So you see them? Poisoning group, take it to an edge, reflect. Good job. Watch the tornadoes coming near group. Don't be in it. Poisoning group, come over to where I am. Someone has corruption, take it to a well. Take it to a well. Square is clear. You... CC our friend, CC our friend. CC then res. Reflect? Good job. Alright, guys, we're a little slow on these poisons. Come over to where I am. If you have corruption, square is open. Reflect. I don't have it. All right, let's go to GG. So if you have a skull over your head, that's another symbol that you have the poison. You'll also be hearing like a little whooshing effect. It goes like whoa, 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 meaning that a mechanic is affecting you. I recommend people turning up their audio. Um, uh, have the specific one that it is tied to is your effects volume. It is to have that cranked way up, and you'll hear it. 
personally, the two things I have cranked up are effects and dialogue. Um, you'll also hear quite a bit of dialogue from Matthias telling you what he's going to do. Uh, for example, uh, your sacrifice will or bring him life, uh, meaning that our friend is getting sacrificed. Is another tell. All right, here we go. This one specifically doesn't have a lot of uh, mechanics tied to audio, but for example, Doom has so many. Reflect. Nice. Hadouken. Corruption, take it to a well. Oh, that was the well. I forgot. Reflect or er, CC? Not reflect. Hadouken? Somehow it always targets these icy things. Uh, that's a coincidence. He doesn't actually aim Hadouken that. Reflect? No, no, um, I mean when I tap target. Oh, yes. Um, I would click on him. <laughs> yeah. The tap target doesn't have any priority in this game. It's really unfortunate. Dodge? Nice. I'm about to get sacrificed. So you see me? Nice. Reflect. Tornado through group. Watch it. Jump. Corruption. Take it to a well. Arrow is fine. Get ready to CC our friend in the center. Reflex. Uh, if anyone has a ranged res, I don't have mine. Um, should I prioritize getting the um, poison out or um, yes. skiing? Yes. Okay. That is not your job. That is everyone else's job when you have a mechanic. Make sure we rest them. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and GG. Welcome, Season. Yeah, this boss is pure chaos. How's everyone liking Matthias? Still for Sword 2.0. <laughs> and this time, actually, kind of electric boogaloo, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason people don't like to raid wing, too. All right, we'll do two more polls before we'll call it. Which is the one where you have to stay still and which is the one you have to move? Uh, fire is move, water stay still. Cool. Although it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you just get stunned. CC, our friend. Hadouken. Make sure we're picking our friends up. Corruption out of group. Reflect. Hadouken. We should have sacrifice coming up here soon. 
Dodge. CC. Corruption out of group. Reflect. Rez our friend. Alright, it's fire. Try to keep moving, but we still want to stay stacked for boons. Fire Tornado is near group. Corruption, take it to a well. Good job, that's poison. Take it to an edge. Good job. CC our friend. CC our friend. Reflect. Tornado near group, let's take that to a well. Good job. Jump. Alright, watch this tornado, it's coming near group again. We're 4% till phase. We are looking good. Our friend's about to get CC'd, reflux. CC. I don't have a build command. I apologize, he's on. CC, CC, then res. CC, then res. Okay. Res. Get ready for reflex. Reflex. You have it? I'm dead. Uh, then that's a GG. I was still able to put a reflect on Good. before I was sacrificed. Maybe, um, if people. Um, it's sometimes hard to um, target the person who's gets who is getting sacrificed maybe you could um, mark them with um, CTRLT I think was that uh, one fun. that only works for your subgroup two yeah, it still requires me clicking on them would do that and it would be easier I think okay you can try that I'm just <coughs> used to do tap targeting so and if you don't know the people and the names and then you have to search for the squad where the name is and then click on them, it takes some uh, time. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it's kind of just one of those things that you'll have to get used to. I don't mean to kind of just be a jerk about it, but... No, it's fine. <laughs> the, the boss is the jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Carrot, thank you for the follow. Alright, here goes our last pull for it. You guys are doing phenomenal. Uh, normally I'd try to train these two bosses separate. Okay, reflect. Corruption, take it to a well. Watch a Dukin. Good job. We, somebody is about to get sacrificed. CC them. CC Venrez. See, oh, we almost killed them. Make sure you stay tightly for heals. Corruption, take it to a well. Reflex? I'm put away. <coughs> uh, Aftershock works as well. Okay, get ready. For, don't use any attacks on the boss because you'll do no damage. Save your cooldowns. Reflex if you have them. Nice. Okay, we can continue. Get ready to CC our friend. Corruption, take it out. Rez our friend. Hadouken. 
reflex. Good job, Corruption. Square is open. CC, CC. CC. Alright, that's unfortunate, but we can still continue. Corruption. Circle is open. Reflex. That's poison. Take it to an edge. I got the res on them. I don't have any more reses. Let's poison. Take it to an edge. Watch the tornado through group. Get ready to CC our friend. CC them. Reflex. Mistake root for heals. Dodge. Spread out. Watch this storm cloud. The storm cloud hurts quite a bit. Corruption, take it to arrow. Get ready to CC our friend. Reflect. Ah, he's moving too much. Good job on the reflex. Make sure we're picking our friends up. Spread out. We are looking good. Watch the storm cloud through group. Our friend's about to get CC'd. CC our friend. Spread out. Reflex. Sorry. Spread out. Try and pick our friend up over in the corner. Uh, res. CC our friend. CC our friend. Reflex. CC. Pick our friend up. Sure we're picking our friend up. Spread it out. Okay. In 9%, he is going to fear us all. Just be mindful of that. And then we enter the chaotic stage of this fight. Get ready to CC our friend. CC. Watch the storm cloud. Pick our friends up. Spread out. Watch the storm cloud. It's in your group. If anyone has corruption, take it to circle. Or heart, my apologies. Also circle works. Spread out. Get ready to save our friend. Reflex. 
Yeah, we don't have uh, We don't have any CC? Enough CC in anymore. Alright, do 3%. You really right. just want to show the chaos, don't you? I just want to show the er, his transformed face. But it's also our last pull. DPS your heart out, reflex. Oh, my wall wasn't enough. He still has the bubble. And I'm going to die. Alright, let's go ahead and GG. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming to a Wing 2 training. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Uh, except the last boss. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the uh, last boss is pure chaos, and you can understand why I don't mind training Heal Scourge on that fight, or with Heal Scourge. Unfortunately, on this account, I don't even have a Necromancer. Yeah, if anyone has advice for what wing I should train next week, I'm down for it. I would prefer not to do wing 2, because I think I've done wing 2 twice this month. Yeah. Uh, what was the next highest? Um, we did wing 7, we did wing 2. I'll do another poll. Um, uh, personally, I would love if you tried... I don't know if you have the Leyline Gliding yet, but Wing 3. Because uh, that, that's the only thing that's um, keeping me from the... Uh, I'll see if I have the time to raid this week for it. Because um, I'm actually decently close. About like 80% to mastery level. And then I need to go run around and collect 12 mastery points. Um... So, good news, you don't actually need to kill this boss for your last treasure chest if you're working on or Envoy 1. Uh, follow me over to Arrow. Um, and then it's that circle. Rare treasure. Oh, wow. Make that ectoplasm. Is that 13? And then for the mushroom. And you guys want to follow me. Well, I do that. Let me Protected. pull up uh, this. Upload. Yeah, we're not going to upload Trio. And then you come over here, over to where Arrow is. You. you just go up this staircase. You can run past all these mobs. And then there's a giant beehive right here. Normally you have to shoot it down. It looks like someone already did. Ta-da. Alright. But seriously, don't feel bad if you thought we were killing the last boss. Uh, this is a very difficult wing. I think I've only had one group clear it, and they didn't have very many, like, no people. I think it was only, like, two or three. Um, as for logs, let me go ahead and review them. Uh, uh, another small thing, what what classes are usually the ones to use Deflect other than Guardian, of course? So, the common, or most common one is, just because Chrono is really popular, um, and every group, not should have a Chrono, but Borderline will have a Chrono, 
Um, Corona just does it with feedback loop. Um, Guardian's pretty common as well. Um, Tempest used to be able to do it. They, in theory, still could, but it's going to be extremely sketchy because now it's only a five-man reflect. Um, so same would go with like Heal Catalyst. Um, who else? Uh, B Vim, thank you for the follow. Um, I don't know of any other classes that commonly do it. Mechanist can't because that's a projectile destruction. Um, there's other ways you can do it, but it gets real sketchy. Like, for example, um, you would have an engineer bring offhand shield, um, be the first person to run in, so that way they're always the target for it, and then you just shield four, or try to run in front of him with shield four. There's ways you can do it, but Chrono and Guardian are the two common ones. Yeah. <clears throat> I could have taken shield and have one with me. What? But I don't know. I could have taken a shield, I have one with me, but I didn't know that. No, it, it's really fine. Um, that's getting into the, like, super sketchy ways of doing it. Well, if you kill the boss, that's a goal, I think. Um, I've never had it work, like, consistently is the issue. So, like, oh. using that as your primary source, it's, it's decent on backups, but it's not a, like, must. So the easier ones is it should, uh, you should stick with Guardian yeah. or the Master. All right, for, so for Slothosaur, let me post these. Uh, someone DM'd me about joining the group, so that way they could mooch the instance. Uh, you can squad join command me. Uh, there are our two logs. Oh, that's the NA group. Oops. <laughs> there's that. And there's that. Um, where did I post that? Here is the squad joint command. All right, you'll have to add slash to that because Twitch doesn't like it. All right, so Slothosaur. First thing I look at are our mechanics. Tantrum is how many times you got hit by that tantrum attack. That's like instances of getting hit by it, not if you got hit by the same attack multiple times. Um, two somewhat high, but considering that we had um, a lot of ringing rounds, it's not that bad. Poison um, is whether or not you got the special action key for poison. And then poison damage is whether or not your poison dealt damage to a person. So like, for example, Faith, um, your poison hit eight people. I'm assuming that's because you went downstate and dropped it on top of us, because that's what one of, or that's where one of them happened. But that's like, but that's what that means. Breath um, is whether or not you got breath attacked at you. Um, or you got hit by the breath attack. Um, for my Tempest, you got hit pretty high considering that you weren't the fixate. So maybe just watch where you're standing. Always um, be facing your uh, towards the boss's back. Uh, Question. Yes. You said poison was the number of times we got the poison thingy. Yes. I'll... How can a mechanist have not gotten it, but they dealt poison damage to people five times? Oh, that's stood. My apologies. Um, so that's because he stood in. He had five oh. ticks of poison damage that he stood in. So um, it's more of watch where you're standing. My apologies, Faith. You were completely fine. Um, we could watch the combat replay. 
if we really wanted to see who it was, but I just want to see how many got dropped in group. So I'm just going to watch those on time. 16 speed. Poison? It says um, special action key, so... I don't know. Yeah, that's that expanding AoE poison. That's whether or not you got it, and then poison is whether or not you stood in it. Ah. So, like, for example, that one, I'm assuming somebody went downstate and dropped it in group, or it expired. And that's where... Uh, we got some ticks of poison. Uh, other than these, uh, my only advice... Uh, where was it? Uh, I think you, in my opinion, uh, you might have just been slow behind, but you ran way too far to drop that. You totally could have ran, I don't know if you could see my cursor, but uh, right where that second dotted line is, is where you could have ran to get to us or to drop it because notice how we're shortly moving afterwards and we would have been fine yep well, on stream, mm -hmm. um, the amount of detail this thing picks up is incredible yeah um, I mean it, it picks up a ton of things like for example I could see everyone's rotation if I wanted to please don't <laughs> uh, to be fair, last uh, last time uh, Moose checked my rotation, he f figured out where I was going horribly wrong and helped me with it. So he, it's it's worth, it's uh, not always a bad thing. Yeah. Um, I personally love this tool. I think it's incredibly useful. Um. Where was I next? Uh, I wouldn't worry about too much. Oh, no. Shake is the next one we worry about. Um, that's how many instances of those little ball shakes that you got hit by. Um, for example, 2 means that you got hit by the tail end of it, but 14 means you probably full tanked uh, 1, if not 2 of them. Um, so just be more mindful on the shakes. Shakes, the more you do this boss, the uh the easier they are to see, and then you'll have more time to react to them. Uh, slub is whether or not you became a slub, fixate, and so on. Floor is how many times you stood in the floor poison. It's very high, but once again, I advise people to dodge into poison. Um, so it's completely fine. Um, buffs. Let's see our boon up time. Um, so our might looks low-ish, but all right. Uh, Fury is all right. Quickness is really low in sub two. Where you... um, I'm assuming that's because you died decently early. Um, for my Harbinger, I would maybe just watch, um, or practice your rotation a little bit. It looks like a after phase two happened, your quickness fell off a lot. Uh, were you dead by the end of it? One second. I think Harbinger might have died, like, really early on, right? Around the third mushroom or so. Someone died there, and I think it was the Harbinger. Okay, they died around three. Okay. Um, so let me look at your quickness in phase one. Okay, your quickness was fine, so it's not a rotation issue. It was just a living issue. Uh, okay. Um... Alacrity. Alacrity looks all right, especially for a training raid and how chaotic this is. Good job, everyone. Next, we'll go to DPS. Um, I would say if your DPS was like 7k or under, I would really... Or like 8k is usually... I would really work on your DPS if you were a DPS class. Uh, obviously, that doesn't apply to, like, my heal classes or my boon providers. 
Um, let me see people's opening rotation. Um, I'm not trying to shame anyone on your DPS. Um, so I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Carrot requoting me on me saying it was just a living issue. Um, I would just practice your rotation on some bosses. Um, not having enough DPS just flat up means you can't kill it. Slothosaur in this sense is much more forgiving. Same with Matthias. But if you were to go to something like Gorsival or um, Conjured Amalgam or Zera, it would make the fight a lot more difficult. So it's just something to practice. If um, For my Elementalist friend, if you ever need any help, I do main Elementalist quite a bit. Um, I think I have, at this point, like 1,500 hours on Ellie in the last year. It's an actual problem. Um, if you need any help with that, let me know. For my other classes, um, I would check out the Build Wars section of this. Um, and they could definitely help you with it. Yeah, if you can give me any tips, that would be... Yeah, I'll shoot you a build, which is pretty simple. Uh, it is Weaver, but it's a very easy Weaver build, if that makes sense. I know people freak out that Condi Weaver is super scary, but it, its rotation order is just like two attunements. But I will shoot that info to you later. Um, actually, maybe I make a guide on it one time. But anyway... Um, did anyone ha have any Slothosaur questions? Alright, so then we'll move on to Matthias. Take what I say with a grain of salt, because we only had... five pulls on it. And honestly, you guys got decently far for... Um, only five pulls. Because I think we have, like, six new people here. All right, so for mechanics, uh, the shard shoot. Um, I haven't seen 62 before. Um, I think that's just because you stood under the boss every single time he did it. That's where he does a flip and smacks on the ground and a bunch of shards shoot out. Um, I think 10 shoot out, so you got hit by like 7 of them. Uh, you can jump them. Uh, but getting hit by like one or two isn't that big of a deal. It's just when you get hit by all of them that it will instantly downstay you. Yeah, I was wondering what like killed my shroud every time. I guess that that was it. Oh, my apologies. I'm thinking of jump shards. Shoot shards is the reflect. So what this tells me, Galson, is that you were the first person to walk into the room. That's all that means. Mm, and that right. our reflex were a little late which i'm not blaming our guardian i typically like to have two people on reflect duty for this um just as a backup i uh, when i wasn't dealing with other mechanics i thought my reflex went yeah it was and off on point unless i was chilled which would make my reflex a bit later because of the mm -hmm. cast time again that's why i like to take two uh reflect people but there was a time when I was going to drop uh, at the fountain and there was the reflection going on at the same time. Yeah, no uh, worries. It's... I had to snipe <coughs> it from the other side of the room. This fight is pure chaos. Yeah. A jump shark is... Or jump shard. Jump shark's a different mechanic from a different boss. Jump shard is the backflip mechanic where he shoots a bunch of them out. Um... A little high on some people, but overall decent. Tornado is that fire tornado. Um, getting hit by this almost always means going down state, so you'll really want to watch out for it. Same with Storm Cloud. One or two ticks is okay. 17 uh, will get you killed very, very quickly on multiple occasions. Uh, well is corruption, and, po and corruption is poison, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, mechanics look somewhat sloppy, but we were in the middle of training it, so it's really fine. Um, boons. Uh, sub 1's might is super low. 
Um, it looks completely like a stacking issue. Um, Fury looks all right. Quickness is low. Um, but our quickness providers, hold on, let me double check. Ice phase, boons look better. Um, for my Harbinger, were you dead in first phase? It's also looking like a quickness issue. Uh, wrong button. Well, you stayed alive decently, well, so you died halfway through the fight. Actually, did you full die or did you get up? You got up. All right, so. Um, just be more mindful about pressing the button. Um, I know I wouldn't worry too hard about it. People kind of freak out during new fights and forget their core rotation and then remember it as they learn or get more comfortable on the boss. Um, Alacrity looks all right. Hey, J Rain, how are you doing? Um, and protection looks all right. All right. Did anyone have any Matthias questions that I did not answer? All right, then. Thank you, everyone. Uh, for coming to my 85th training raid. Um, if you like it, or if you want to join up or join more, I run EU every Friday. Um, and for Twitch chat, um, I run NA every Saturday at 3 Eastern. Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Have Thank a great you. day. Thanks, Moose. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye. All right, how's everyone doing? I wasn't reading Twitch chat too closely because it was a little chaotic during Matthias, but that's just kind of how Matthias is. Um, let me drink some water for season. All right, um, my sister's apparently here. I didn't know she was gonna be here. That's why I had to step out a few times and she just had foot surgery. So I'm gonna go take care of her. Um, I will be live tomorrow at three for the NA training raid. And I might do, um, I might start earlier to try and do some raid stipulations. Um, like for example on that, I was gonna add a redeem where you could tell me to like unequip my helm or whatever uh, for two minutes and I would just be pugging for that. Um, don't know if anyone's interested in that. It was just a stream idea that I had. Um, but yeah, I will be calling it here. Thanks guys.